Yes, guys, this is TNT barbecue. I'm going to cut this fan off a little bit. Okay, this is TNT barbecue guy with a southern explosive taste. Today, I would like to thank a person that did something absolutely awesome. He made me a TNT barbecue logo shirt. Daryl from Bad Beast Barbecue. I just want to say thank you, buddy. This is awesome. As you can see, he really put some thought into his logo. He ordered the t-shirts for me. Everything was a great price. I'm happy with the customer service. I'm happy with everything. No complaints here. So uh, he does have a Facebook page. It's um, Bad Beast Apparel on Facebook. Hit him up. Um, I mean, just shout out, okay? So with that being said, let's get to talking about the trailer, okay? Well, this is just um, a smoker here. This is a Brickman smoker. It's double door. This has the more BTU, high temperature, for searing. I want to say searing, but just high cooking. Like, if I was doing chicken, I would do chicken on this side over here. I would do, like, um, stuff that I need to cook a little faster on this side over here. This side over here has a lower BTU, BT, and I'm using charcoal and some wood chips. And I'm and and you can see those beef ribs how they cooking, guys. You know, since I got open, I might as well spray a little bit, guys. Okay. Since I got the door open, okay. You know, they look amazing. I guess y'all would like to see the beef ribs. I, I would too. I'm not gonna tempt nobody like that, just in case. Uh, I won't tempt nobody with just opening up the smoker. Without showing the beef rib, so you see that now? It's that red color right there on the beef ribs. You see the red color on those beef ribs right there? That's just the smoke. I mean, it, it, it's the rub on there, so um, the racks pull out. I just, you know, not a beef rib video, but I just would like to just show them using mesquite wood chips. And here I have my um, little stove if I need to cook some onions or saute some onions. And I have a um, exhaust fan for this. And um, that gets, it gets a lot of smoke in another exhaust fan. So I have two exhaust fans. But since I'm making a video, I want to cut the exhaust fans off, okay? So um, that's some stove, the smoker. Okay, let's talk about sinks, okay? We got dirty dishes, okay? Boom. I just lift these bad babies up right here. Pull down my hoses. Put on my hoses. And, and, and I, if I want to, I can just hit a switch. And I just I just cut on the hoses right there. So right there, boom. You know I got running water, so I cut it off. So uh like I say, guys, this is a uh, very proficient uh, trailer here. So, um, it takes care of me because I take care of it, okay? So, uh, I'm here trying to find a switch. So, the switch is under here. So, uh, if I want to hit the switch, I hit the switch. If not, see there? Hit the switch if I want to. And cut on the water. So if I cut on the water, it go to pump it. Call the water, the pump cuts off. Plain and simple. But I always keep the switch off just to have off, okay? So I'm gonna let it drain out right here. So I, what I use these things for, guys, sometimes I want to clean meat. Sometimes if I want to wash my dishes, this is only hot water though, okay? This is cold and hot over here, all right? But I like it because you can close these lids down. You just, uh, right here, lift these up right here. Close them down. And boom, you got something to, uh, another cable if you want to, okay? So, this is my hand washing station right here. This is what I do when I want to wash my hands. I just cut that on, cut the switch back on. 
And I just, uh, that wash my hands. You know? So, wash out everything. Like I say, guys, you know, um, find a switch for you again. Cut this, I always cut it off so I won't forget it. Um, I have a microwave here. If I need to nuke stuff, I, I never use it yet. But if I need to, I have a microwave to nuke things. I, I have I have some storage here. You know, the storage here, here. Keep my knives and everything else. A deep freezer. This is finna go, guys, okay? This deep freezer uh, is, is nice. I don't have it plugged in. Right now, I'm using it for storage. And I'm just like uh, forks, knives, and no meat in here. Just stuff like, like lumen foil. But this is going to go. This is right. The deep freeze is going. And what that's going to do is that going to open up a counter space. I'm getting the table built. And this is where my steam table is going to be at. So this will be a steam table here pretty soon. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's propane. Hot water heat. Propane grill. Propane stove. Uh, I have a... Um, I have a water pump system up under here. So you can see where my water's kept at. Wanna get a good picture of that? So that's my water kept at and my uh that's my pump here. This is my um water cooler. So uh it's pretty simple how I got things set up. So uh this is my window here. I this window up right here. This is what I serve out of, okay? So, you know, I say, hey, can I help you? Whatever, whatever. And um, I have my um, money collection here. So where I collect my money at, I put my money, my chain drawer, the cash drawer over here. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I see a mess. I had to clean it up. So, got a little... When you, when you see a mess, guys, you got to clean it up, okay? Okay. That, that is the way you're supposed to do it. And um, basically, I keep my little spray bottle here with me, you know, on bleach and water just to spray stuff down. Guys, this is not much. I have my two refrigerators here. I got a bungee cord down because when I go to moving, I don't want them to fall out. So they bungee cord down. So I uh, also got another hot water heater valve over there. You know, this right here, guys, is my startup trailer. So it's the first trailer I have to serve food out. It, it passed the food inspection with flying colors. I got a great deal on it. It's sturdy. The floor is sturdy. I'm a big guy. It's shaking a little bit, but, you know, uh, I tell you what, um, I'm blessed to have... Uh, the barbecue trail, I guess, guys. And like I say, you know, uh, I put out on Saturday myself, and I want to thank you, Leland, from Highland Smoke. That's my brother from another mother. We put out close to, I would say, close to 150 sandwiches, a bunch of orders of nachos, uh, pulled pork nachos, a couple orders of the man sandwich, and... Um, Hot links and my Texas style hot links, my Chicago style hot links. We really put some orders out, guys. But none of this wouldn't be possible without the Lord up above. And I think my YouTube guys, like from Kirby Q to No Hippie to uh, to uh, Daddy Cook to Tango Joe to Joe with Southern Coast Cooking. To my boy Fritz Rochester over there in the Fritz cooking. All y'all guys have inspired me. Um, I'm supposed to be getting the grill and I'm gonna be uh, really getting some sandwiches out there named after some of y'all guys. But uh, like I say, even Mr. Coakley, I, I, I tell you what, Mr. Coakley is special in my heart. Coakley's barbecue. Uh, I got his barbecue sauce in my special bean recipe. And I tell you what, guys, it was the key to my baked beans. I just put some of that Coakley's barbecue sauce 
in my baked beans. I mean, I mean, and I use this uh, Lyle Jamaican jerk rub, the hot kind that he had a video on. I use that, uh, which that'll be <coughs> in the link, along with Tango Joe Spice Company, along with uh, all the guys I mentioned, Joe from Southern Coast of Cooking. All those guys are going to be in my link, guys. Daryl from Bad Beast Barbecue. So, what y'all need to do, guys, if you haven't subscribed, you haven't checked out these guys or or whatever, check them out, man. Uh, I tell you what, you will learn a lot from my YouTube buddies. I mean, Kirby Q just came out with a with a smoke double egg video. Lyle always coming out with creative. He had like a Asian sticky spare rib. Um, Daryl from Bad Beast Barbecue just came out with a. Um, uh, a hamburger series, and I think it was a series of different kind of hamburgers where he did fish, catfish burgers, where he did uh, all kinds of different burgers. Tango Joe, my buddy, his spices are amazing. I'm kind of stuck on one midnight espresso. Yummy. And then you go to Fritz. Oh, no, my boy Fritz. Oh, my goodness. Fried chicken, ribs. Hams. He had a, a glaze, a pecan smoke ham glaze last video he had. Man, these guys are amazing. And I'm telling you, I did YouTube land. Please give these guys a holler. Because you would not be disappointed. I mean, my boy Joe at Southern Coast is cooking. I'm just talking off my head right now. Because it's so easy to talk about. He did a 101 brisket class. You know, that brisket, 101 brisket class was amazing. And Daddy Cooks, Phil, come on, Phil, the pro. You know, uh, Phil is a perfectionist, you know. He did a pasta dish here the other day, a meat sauce, excuse me, a meat sauce. Me, that correct, a meat sauce dish. Yeah, me. I'm telling you, God, I may not do videos on them, but I do try a lot of y'all guys' recipes. And let me tell you something. I pick up what I'm laying down. So, if you're out there in YouTube land, you haven't commented, you haven't subscribed to TNT Barbecue, subscribe to the ones I have on the list, guys. Because all those guys are amazing cookers and cooks. And um, all I can say is TNT Barbecue, Southern is supposed to taste. God bless you and God bless America. Guess what? We're out of here, baby.